Hello Grokkers and welcome to Grok Trade. My name is Jerry Usher and I am a graduate student of the Grok Mentoring Program. And it is Sunday night, November 14th, 2010. Um, we're taking a look here at this, the SPX. Um, it's always good to get a good overview of the market before you decide uh, what to trade. And we can see here that we actually broke down uh, past the uh, support lines of the trend lines here. We closed underneath two of them, finding the 20 day moving average here for support and also this blue uh, support line, which goes back uh, to this area. We kind of had a triangle there, so that's at the, the, uh, the uh, vertex of the triangle there. So, uh, a little bit more bearish than, than what I was anticipating uh, the day before, which is great. This is why trading is so wonderful, because you never know what's going to happen. You can only do your best, uh, best guess, best opinion, and that's pretty much all it is. And uh, we actually broke down here. So, uh, things are not looking very bullish at the moment. Let's quickly take a look at the spiders, just to get a volume read on that. You can see we had big volume spike here. All right, so a lower high, a lower low. The bull, uh, the bears are in charge here, and um, we had some volume come in. All right, so uh, things are looking a bit bearish at the moment. And let's go ahead and check in with Baidu. We were tracking Baidu all week long. Um, and we were playing this bullish. If the markets turn bullish, this was going to be our trade. Um, you can see here how we did break out of the base yesterday. Now I had this orange line here because I personally did not enter on that breakout. I wrote a note to myself that I was waiting for a small range candle for entry on 11.11. Here's 11.12. You can see we made a lower high, lower low. Um, we're back inside the triangle. So a little bit of a fake out here. Um, so at this point I am not looking to enter uh, bullish into this trade any longer until one markets turn bullish until two number two now we have to break above a new line so I'm gonna take this blue line and I'm gonna raise it a bit right there and I'm not interested in uh, possibly going long on Baidu until we get a close above that blue line again um, and don't forget market confirmation so this waiting is now going to um, just turn into just a watch we're just watching to see what happens with this stock so there's Baidu um, our bear stock that we really didn't pay too much attention to this week because things were going down all week but it, it looked like it was going to turn around any moment at least to me so I was just watching Sh uh, Shield as SHLD, Sears Holding Company, um, just watching it the entire week. You can see how we made lower highs and lower lows, so that, that shows its weakness. Um, um, it was going down along with uh, the markets very slowly, and you can see here Friday that we actually broke down. We broke down to, uh, underneath this support line that we were saying earlier in the week that we would not be interested in shorting this until we can get a break below that, and we got that on Friday. So now, we are interested in a possible short. Um, if you're not already in this trade, you're going to probably want to wait for a smaller range candle, um, possibly here for them on Monday, where you can jump in with a better risk reward ratio. Ratio, because right now, um, if if we were heading towards the $65 mark for a target. Um, we're not going to quite have the risk reward ratio that that we should have so i'm going to no longer watch this i'm going to uh, go continue watch it but i'm going to update it um, to a to a wait i'm waiting for another possible entry okay take a look at the weekly you always want to make sure the weekly is in the same direction um, that you're that you're uh, planning on playing you can see uh, we are in a downtrend a nice bearish candle there last week um, however we've got some support this line goes back quite a ways all right we've got some support here at the 60 uh, let's zoom in and get a little bit closer here um, yeah the 65 66 6550 level and if we go back to the daily that's right where this you know this blue line here is okay this is a previous swing uh, we might be able to crack through it but expect some kind of support there but 65 looks to be the, uh, a good target range um, and the, the 60 minute 
we check the 60 minute for timing and you can see if you go back from earlier this week I did say I'm not interested until the 60 can actually get down below this it was dropping all week but I wanted to see a close below this line you can see we did that all day Friday sliding right down kind of like in the first base there just dropping sliding now we're low basing can we get another drop if we get another drop if you see the 60 start breaking down there um, that is a definite area for a possible uh, possible entry for shorting. Again, no recommendations to buy or sell uh, these stocks. This is just for educational purposes only, and I hope it's helping some of you out there. Uh, let's look forward to a great trading week, and I'll be talking to you tomorrow night. Take care, everybody.